Hey everybody, it's the Cursing Seamstress. Today is Sunday. I'm on my way out the door in about 15 minutes. So I thought I'd take advantage of this time and talk to you about what I've been sewing. First, I'll get this out of the way. Uh, my niece, my brother's daughter, uh, my brother is no longer with us, um, but she is getting ready to have a baby any minute. Um, and I hope she tells me when she does. She lives in um, Minnesota. Um, <clears throat> so I thought, wow, I can get rid of some of my scraps and maybe make some things that would be really useful for the baby. So I'll show you what I've done. Um, I don't think I showed this before. This was from Thrifted Fabric probably last year or the year before. Um, I just, and these are, um, these are from Patterns for Pirates. I think these are the pajama, walk the plank pajama pants, I think, but they're not pajamas. Um, they are a blue jeans with little um, cherries on them, I think. I might have shown these to you before, but they're just adorable. They're just so tiny. Um, these are for, um, I think, a three-month-old. Then I, I don't know, I found the this beanie pattern. This is either made for mermaids or patterns for pirates, either one. It's free. And it's called the slouchy beanie and it's called the slouchy beanie because there's excess room here so it kind of folds over on the back of your head it's for uh, girls and boys men and women i think there's um four sizes maybe uh and these are the toddler size i guess this is fabric that i used to work for the blood mobile um red cross american red cross blood mobile and we did a blood drive on the bus um, at a fabric company and so I was talking about sewing this is 30 years ago talking about sewing to one of the donors and she said um, do you want some scraps I can go in and get you some so I said yes that would be wonderful so I know it was 30 years ago because my daughter out of this very fabric this is like a swimsuit kind of fabric I did a pair of pajamas and they were probably a size eight and um, I made balloons it was I can't remember it was somebody holding balloons and um, and so one of the balloons uh, was applique on using this shiny fabric so these are so simple to make it's not lined it's just two pieces of fabric like with a V cut and then rounded over if you don't want it to be slouchy, you could just cut some of the bottom off. And then uh, once you sew the two pieces of fabric together, um, you make this um, where the V is. You just pull it across and stitch across here on the wrong side. So, and then this is another one. Um, and notice it matches this. The, the rim of this matches uh, the outfit I have on and it matches this little circle skirt and I can't remember this circle skirt is um, it's either patterns for pirates made for mermaids or it might even be I, I don't know or it might be the circle Luna skirt by five out of four not sure this is it it's uh, so cute very easy to make and this is Patterns for Pirates. Oh, yeah. This is the, um, can't think of the name of it. Um, I've made myself, the, oh, it's the joggers, the baby bear joggers. So, um, and this is a, a good choice, this yoga band, when you don't know the measurement of a baby's or a child's, uh, what the elastic is going to be. So these are these little jogging pants. I had a hard time hemming these because it's so narrow. So I thought the next time I would make these bell bottom and that way I can at least get them under the needle to do a better job. 
but I've had this fabric probably for about five or six years and I, I don't know. I think it's a double brushed polyester perhaps. And along with that, I um, had, I saw, I came across a um, pattern. It's called the BB Dodo or Bebe Dodo, B-E-B-E-D-O-D-O. -D -O -D -O. Uh, and it's a free pattern. If you do that search, you should be able to find it. I think it's at I Think So, uh, I Think S-E-W. And what I did was, um, the first one I made is this one. This is the one that's going to my niece. Um, I've got a bunch of this fleece from, I don't know, I think I was making beanies or something years ago. And so what I did was I scanned the, the pattern that she offers for free uh, and then scanned it, uploaded it, put it into my embroidery program and from there made sure it was the correct size and then put in the ears, the eyes and all the rest of the stuff that um, was meant to be put on as a, a patch and then I guess hand sewn on or zigzag zigzagged around. So I thought this would be a shortcut. This is his back, he's, he's a bear. So this is for uh, Jill. And, you know, when I do something, I usually don't do one. I have to do a zillion of them. So I made this one here, and his back is blue. Um, and then I made this guy. He's blue all over, and that's his backside. Um, these are just really simple. I just hand sew the place where I put the stuffing in. Um, and I think they're pretty safe for... For little kids, um, you know, that's up to the discretion of the parent, but um, I think they are pretty safe. So, all right, so let me talk to you about what I'm wearing. This is the, and I think I mentioned this before, it's the Maeve pattern, and it's by uh, Maeve for Mermaids. It's a wonderful pattern. You can, um, I have to put these where the dogs won't get them. Um, you can make this as a dress by connecting the skirt with the bodice. You can make it as a two-piece, which is what I did. Um, there are two different sleeves. I did the regular sleeve with a cuff. They also have a, I think it's a bishop sleeve where you, it's very full. You gather it and put the cuff on. You can also just hem the, this length if you want to. So tons of variations. I'm sure I don't, uh, I won't be able to remember them all. You can make it a mini skirt. You can have it come off at the knees or um, make it a midi. Midi is my favorite length. So uh, this is what it looks like. I made the green. In hindsight, I probably should have made a, a little bit of a smaller size on the top. And then uh, I think it would be, I think it would be a 12 on the top and a 14 on the bottom. Um, would probably work better for me. So um, also when I made this the first time I made the regular neckline, I thought that the larger neckline would, the way they show it um, in the photos on the website is that this is actually hanging off the shoulder. Um, it's not that wide. I don't know why it looks like that in the pictures because this is the width and I prefer this over the more of a crew neck. Um, and I also did the, this is called the regular length top with uh, a, a band around it. Both times that I've made this top, um, I had to lengthen this band by two to three inches. And I think I'm using the right stretchy fabric um, but just be aware of that uh, don't get to the very last remnant of your fabric and then find that you have to cut another band so make sure in case that happens to you my waist is bigger it's a 36 i think so i kind of go straight down um and um but the um the skirt is wonderful i really like the skirt it's a perfect fit the skirt uh, waistband is the kind that you 
sew on and then flip it inward and then stitch it down again at the bottom. Uh, I, I like that option. In the past when I've done that, um, years ago, I always found that the waistband or the elastic stretched out and the waistband was always really big. This is perfect. I think I cut a 34 inch length of elastic so it, it's two inches shorter and then I, I overlapped it a half an inch so um, but it came out perfect both times this is such a great fabric I found this at a thrift store um, and it is such quality um, there's no pilling it washed beautifully um, I wish I knew who made it because um, I would buy more. I'm going to stand up and just show this to you. It's such an easy wear. I think that um, I'm going to try the dress next time. And uh, I think the dress has elastic in it. Um, I'm sure it does. But I think that might be a good option next time since I've made this set uh, twice. Except for the, the only variation is the wider neckband. Something to say about waistbands, I think, I mean, uh, neck, neck bands, and I think I've said this before, is the um, when you're putting on a waistband, I mean a neck band, sorry, uh, and you quarter it, one of your quarters on your neck band is not going to be this seam here. Um, only if you were doing a totally round neck, a high crew neck, that's a really a full circle, uh, would, would this be your quarter mark? Uh, anytime that the neckline, and it almost always does, drops down lower than the back neckline, your, um, your quarter point is going to be, you know, below this. It's going to be toward the front. And it may be, you know, a half an inch. It may be an inch, but it's not going to be on the, the seam. So if you want a good looking neckband, just uh, be aware of that. All right, I'm going to stand up and show this to you. It's the same thing I showed you before, except for the neckband. For casual wear, great for church or work. Uh, it just works really well. Love these sleeves. I did cut the sleeves off, I think, two inches um, before I put the, uh, the band on. And that works out perfectly for me. I don't have short arms in particular, but uh, anyway, give this a try. It, it's a beautiful pattern. I like it a lot. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.